When was the last time that you felt fine? No pain, no fatigue, and just smooth sailing. Now, what if I told you that very same feeling might also be the biggest deception that your body can pull off? You're cruising through life thinking you're invincible, and then bam, a routine checkup drops a bombshell that changes everything. Sounds a little bit dramatic, I know, but that's exactly what happened to one of my patients recently, and unfortunately, it could happen to you too. So this patient walks into my office feeling like basically a million bucks. They had energy, no real issues to speak of, but they were there because their previous doctor insisted that they have medication and a blood test. Now this patient had high blood pressure, so you know there's something going on with them, even though they feel great. But as they sat down, they told me, Doc, I've had some problems flagged in the past. Low B12, low iron, hypothyroidism. But I feel great now, so what's the harm? I'm not on my medications, I feel fine. Why am I even here? Why is this such a problem? But there it is, that dangerous mindset that if you feel fine, you must be fine. But let me tell you, feeling fine doesn't always mean, unfortunately, that everything is A-OK -okay underneath the hood. This routine checkup for this patient hopefully has turned into a wake-up call that might just save their life and, of course, yours. So despite feeling that they were in peak condition, the blood tests unfortunately told a very different story. First, we found profound hypothyroidism. Now, hypothyroidism isn't just some minor hiccup in your body's operations. It's a silent, stealthy threat that can creep up on you so slowly that you don't even notice it. Your thyroid gland isn't producing enough hormones and it's dragging your entire system down with it. According to this article in The Lancet, hypothyroidism is a master of disguise, often underdiagnosed because the symptoms are so subtle. Maybe you're a little bit more tired than usual. Maybe you've put on a bit more weight or maybe you're just feeling off. We've all been there. But here's the scary part. Untreated hypothyroidism, if left alone, doesn't just mess up your day-to-day -day or put a little bit of weight on. It increases the risk of underlying conditions like coronary artery disease by a staggering 20%, as shown by this article in Circulation. Think about that. Your heart, the powerhouse that keeps you alive, is under siege all the time while you're feeling perfectly fine. But that wasn't the only surprise that was waiting in those test results. We also found a massive B12 deficiency, the biggest I have ever seen. Now, this patient has, of course, been told before that their B12 was low. They had a condition called pernicious anemia, but they felt fine, and they didn't think they needed to have the B12 injections. But B12 is a ticking time bomb. Without enough B12, your body struggles to make new red blood cells and maintain proper nerve function. And of course, the result of this can be a slow, potentially irreversible decline in cognitive function, neurological function, and of course, dementia. A study in the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition found that nearly 40% of adults have a borderline or low B12 without any symptoms. That's right. Almost half of those with low B12 did not have symptoms until it was too late. Now, this article in Neurology demonstrates that low B12 is strongly linked to an increased risk of dementia. So whilst this patient felt perfectly fine, which is great, their body, unfortunately, was quietly being set up for long-term damage. And then there was this iron deficiency, of course, as well. The patient had mentioned they'd heard about this before, but again, what's the harm, Doc? I feel fine. Well, iron deficiency is no joke. It's not just about feeling a little bit tired. It's about your body's ability to produce hemoglobin adequately, the molecule that carries oxygen to your tissues. Without enough iron, you can develop anemia, which leads to fatigue, weakness, and in severe cases, serious heart problems and heart attacks. And if that's not enough, iron deficiency can also stunt growth in children and cause complications in pregnancy, like preterm delivery and low birth weight. When we looked closer, we also found an elevated MCV, mean corpuscular volume, which means their red blood cells were larger than normal. Now, this is probably the B12 deficiency that's causing this problem, but there may be other things going on, and this can be a sign, for example, of underlying liver disease. According to research published in Blood, these markers can show up long before you start to feel the effects of anemia. So whilst this patient felt fine on the outside, which is fantastic, their body unfortunately was sending out those flags on the inside, and in this case they really were quite red flags to say that something was going on. Now let's just take a little step back and think about what has happened in this consultation. The patient came in feeling like everything was great, and they had this attitude of, well if I feel great everything must be great but their body was quietly fighting a losing battle, including increasing risk of things like cardiac disease and dementia. And this is why relying solely on how you feel isn't just a bad idea in my opinion, I think it's downright dangerous. 
Some conditions like hypothyroidism or B12 deficiency develop so gradually that your body adapts and you don't even notice the symptoms until they become severe. But by then, the damage may already be done. This is why I think regular checkups and blood tests and scans like CT calcium scores are absolutely essential to catch these problems early before they turn into something much more serious. Research published in JAMA emphasizes the importance of routine health screenings. Nearly 15, 1-5% of adults over the age of 50 have a significant health issue that they are completely unaware of, issues that were only discovered during routine screenings. Now, before we continue though, guys, I want to take a quick moment to tell you about the meatmedic.com. If you're interested in taking control of your health, you need to check out our website. Sign up for our community where you can connect with like-minded individuals, get access to exclusive content, and dive deep into topics that can help you live your healthiest life. Whether you're looking to improve your diet, learn more about preventative healthcare, or just stay informed, the meatmedic.com has you covered. Join us today and let's take your health to the next level. All right, so what is the lesson here? Even if you feel fine, I think it's really important to not skip those checkups with the doctor. Make sure you get those blood tests regularly, even if you feel fine and don't have any symptoms. It's great if you feel great, but what if there's something going on underneath the surface, like with this patient? These tests can very often reveal hidden deficiencies and imbalances that could quietly be doing quite a lot of damage while you go about your day-to-day -day feeling perfectly fine. More than this though, I think it's really important to be proactive and educate yourself about these kinds of conditions. Of course, we spoke about hypothyroidism, B12 deficiency, and iron deficiency, but there's others out there. These are very real threats to your health if left unchecked. And prevention isn't just better than cure. It really is your best defense against the unexpected. And don't forget knowledge is power. The more you know about your body and what it needs, the better equipped you'll be to protect your health. So don't wait for a crisis. Act now, get checked, and take control of your health before something goes wrong. Feeling good and feeling great is fantastic, but it's not the same as being healthy. Don't let your body's feel fine illusion trick you into complacency. Take action, get those checkups, and don't ignore what's happening beneath the surface. Your future self will thank you for it. Those in Australia, of course, can consult me. Check out my information at themeatmedic.com. I'm also now doing coaching for international patients as well. Again, link on themeatmedic.com. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button, leave a comment, drop a like. Thank you very much, guys, and I'll see you in the next episode.